Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the latest news that we know about GTA 6 Online and everything that we're expecting Rockstar to improve in the next iteration of GTA Online. Now, as we all know, GTA 5 Online has been a major success for Rockstar Games, and what they're planning to do with GTA 6 Online is to build on top of what they already have in GTA 5 and improve upon it. So today we're going to be discussing some of the improvements that we can expect in GTA 6 Online, and also some of the things that are likely going to be kept the same like they are now. Now we got a ton of really awesome and exciting information to discuss today, but first off, make sure to drop a like rating on this video to show your support, as well as subscribe down below for more ideal videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shoutout of the day, and we're at one to the actual video. Now, today's shoutout goes to a really awesome YouTube channel known as Timebender. Now, as a lot of you know, I love supporting and uplifting smaller gaming YouTubers, and Timebender is a really awesome gaming YouTuber that uploads all sorts of great gameplay videos. Now, he mainly focuses on sports games, including WWE, UFC, Madden, NBA, and others, but he also does play some alternative games here and there as well. He uploads new videos multiple times per week, so there's always something new and exciting to watch on his channel, so make sure to click the first link in the description down below to subscribe to Timebender on YouTube for some really awesome legendary gaming videos. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Now, as we all know, GTA 5 Online has been a major success for Rockstar Games, and it has been a big contributor to their revenue every single quarter. Now, even some of the top Rockstar executives admit that they never expected GTA 5 Online to become what it is today. However, Rockstar Games had a major success with GTA 5, and they need to replicate that success with GTA 6 as well. Now, in a lot of ways, GTA 6 Online is going to be quite similar to what we have right now with GTA 5. For example, the whole idea of having open world lobbies, apartments, homes, jobs that you can load into, all of that good stuff, the fundamentals of GTA Online are likely going to stay the same or at least be very similar to what they are now. I really think Rockstar hit the nail on the head with GTA 5, so there really isn't any real reason to completely reinvent GTA Online in GTA 6. Now one of the big things that is going to be changing is of course how the map works. Now, the map of GTA 6 is likely going to be one of the game's biggest selling features because Rockstar has a ton of things up their sleeve, a few that we know and I'm sure a lot that we don't know. Now, one of the things that we do know that was released through a patent that Rockstar published is that Rockstar has been working on a new technology for online sessions. The way it works right now in GTA 5 and pretty much every other game out there is there is one online session per map. Now this is okay, however as games get bigger and bigger maps like GTA 5, that really results in a large majority of the players staying in one part of the map and not really having any reason to explore other parts of the map. For example, in GTA 5 Online, a large majority of the players stay in the southern part near Los Santos, and the whole area near Blaine County is usually a ghost town. Now, what Rockstar is attempting to do to prevent this is they're going to have a new technology in GTA 6 that is effectively going to separate the map of GTA 6 into separate quadrants and each quadrant is going to have its own online session, and as you move between the map and as you move in and out of these quadrants, you're technically going to be entering a new online session. Now, I'm sure that all of this is going to be very seamless and there's going to be no loading screens or anything along those lines. However, the benefit of this is, is that every single part of the map and every single quadrant is always going to have players because each one is going to be its own session and Rockstar can make sure that they are evenly splitting players apart accordingly. Based on what we've heard, it seems like the map of GTA 6 is going to be even bigger than the one in GTA 5, so this is definitely appreciated. 
In addition, Rockstar is also planning to add new locations to GTA 6 as part of their Project America's codename, so in the future, we're likely going to be able to expand our GTA Online universe into different locations and worlds. Now, originally Rockstar was planning to launch GTA 6 with a handful of locations, however it seems like that has since been scaled down to only one location, which is Vice City, so it seems like the game is going to be launching with Vice City, however more locations will be added at some point in the future. In addition, a lot of the jobs, including races, adversary modes, heists, and everything in between, are likely going to feel a lot more realistic in GTA 6 Online. If you play GTA 5 Online and then move into GTA 5 single player, you will notice a major upgrade in the mission quality in GTA 5 single player, and that is because there is a lot less variables that Rockstar needs to worry about. So in single player, they're able to add additional animation, more dialogue, and just overall a smoother experience compared to GTA Online. I do expect that in GTA 6 Online, Rockstar will try to merge the worlds between single player and online to really make online missions feel a ton more realistic. A large part of the issue with GTA 5 is that the majority of the code that was written for GTA 5 Online was legacy code that was written way before 2013 and has not aged that well. Now, Rockstar has done a phenomenal job at upgrading the game over the years, however, the base code is still the same for a large majority of the game, and because of that, it is very difficult to add major changes and features that really improve the way the game plays. So in GTA 6 Online, there is likely going to be a major improvement to the mission quality, and it's going to feel more like a single player campaign, however, with more players that you can play with if you'd like. Besides that, I'm sure Rockstar is making some major performance improvements to their servers for GTA 6. One of my main complaints with GTA 5 Online is sometimes the loading times are absolutely way too long and really ruin the experience of the game, so I do expect GTA 6 to run on much more modern code, which will make the overall game load a ton quicker and therefore allow you to get into missions way faster. So the bottom line for GTA 6 Online is Rockstar is likely going to keep the same baseline as GTA 5 Online, including the whole idea of open world, the jobs, heists, invite-only sessions, and pretty much all of the baseline stuff, however they're going to build on top of it and overall make the experience a ton better. Now, I definitely want to hear from all of you in those comments down below, what are some improvements and changes that you want to see made in GTA 6 Online compared to what we have right now in GTA 5? Any and all thoughts you have about this and more, let me know in those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys. But either way, if you enjoyed today's video and you like staying updated on the latest news surrounding GTA 6 and the GTA series in general, let me know by dropping a like rating on this video, as well as subscribe down below if you haven't already with those notifications on it so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again so much for tuning in today, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.